So in a previous uh, video uh, on this channel, you can look for that video. I showed you how to create uh, this uh, robot on uh, FX Dreamer, uh, the free EA builder. It's free when it's uh, for MT4. For MT5, you basically pay a little amount, but uh, it's not much. Uh, disclaimer, I am in no way associated with the guys behind this project. Uh, it's just a free tool for turning your strategies into forex robots that I find very useful. Uh, first, it's easy to use. You can basically, without any coding skills, you can basically create a robot by just dragging and dropping these blocks and linking them that's why i use it but you use it at your own risk that's the disclaimer if anything breaks or does not work uh, on your side don't come and harass me i also i'm also like you i'm just using it um, but i'm i'm just sharing this because i found it useful so decide for yourself whether you want to take the risk or not but anyway uh so i showed you how you can actually turn uh, a simple trading strategy with uh, fx dreamer the platform uh today we are going to uh, see how you can actually use uh the close profitable trades function on fx dreamer because um i think uh, i had one or two people ask me about uh, that so this is our robot uh there's ways of closing your trades for example here we've got a buy pending order if we double click on it you can see we can actually uh, close our trades by uh take profit we can uh, close our trades via take profit uh basically we can set it to pips or we can set it to a uh, percentage of the price, uh, percentage from uh, stop loss uh, at a custom uh, price level, uh, at custom pips, uh, custom price a fraction. There is a lot of ways to actually uh, close what your trades. But there is also another way that you can use. Uh, let's. So when you go to uh, the left side, uh, the panel, you can actually see close profitable trades here. There are many uh, tools uh, that you can use there. You can delete pending orders. You can close most profitable trades. You can close least profitable trade. You can close uh, trades that are actually in a loss. You can actually trade. Uh, you can close them. You can close all trades you can modify stops of trades and stuff like that so these are the uh, two blocks that we're going to talk about first uh, close profitable trades what we are going to do is to actually uh, link uh, this to our robot that's how you do it so what it's going to do is when uh, this happens or when this happens and the trades uh, instead of uh, pending orders here you might actually have uh, orders that are open but anyway if the trades are opened here the trades are opened here you can instead of sending of setting a TP a tech profit you can actually put in this uh, function uh, close profitable trades if we click on it then you can basically tell it what to do you can basically uh, uh tell it what to do I, I wanted to increase the size of the box but i hope you can see it so you can actually tell it uh, uh when to take profit uh that's what uh you will, that's what we are uh, going to set here so you say maybe uh we sold with uh, this robot you can easily say maybe after what uh, general uh, random random number you can either say uh, 67 pips or you can actually say by money by money 
uh, depending on the amount uh, that's in your account and you need to have an amount uh, an idea of the amount the money that you are risking so by money maybe let's say five dollars uh, uh, when profit is more than uh, five dollars that should be five dollars when profit is more than five dollars then uh, it needs to what to close uh, profitable trades it's only going to uh, to close the profitable ones so the profitable trades need to be equal to what to five dollars for the robot to close those trades other than that you can also uh, uh, filter which trades you want the robot to close for example you want it to uh, close the trades that are what that are the oldest so they will need to be the oldest uh, oldest uh, trades maybe there that are older uh, by let's say two hours that would be one 20 minutes if the trades are older than uh, two hours and they have made five dollars you can what they can be closed by the robot don't forget to take these uh, little boxes on the side because it means you can actually uh, uh, you can actually what change these things without coming back to fx uh, dreamer you can simply uh, do these uh, inputs whilst you are on metatrader 4 or metatrader 5. so you can actually filter uh, the trades by age you can filter them uh, by type whether this condition is going to apply only to buys or sales or all the trades the buys and the sales so that's how you use this uh, close profitable trades uh, block uh, it's so easy and convenient uh, to use so maybe you are uh, maybe uh, let's say you're just trading synthetic indices or maybe you're trading uh, crash 1000 I'm just giving a random example then you probably are going to be watching what the the buys that's what you want to close uh, when it reaches five dollars but otherwise if you're trading forex pairs uh, then uh, either buys and sells because you're probably going to be buying and uh, selling or you can actually filter by uh, symbol you can specify symbols or you can uh, actually say just any symbol uh, some of this you don't actually uh, need it but what's crucial is when to take the profit so we said either you set it in pips or you can set it by how much money it's going to be uh, uh, taking and we said we need this uh, ticked so that uh, when you're on the side of MetaTrader 4 you can easily what you can easily uh, change these uh, values without coming back to uh, FX uh, Dreamer. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, more settings. There is nothing really there. You can just uh, tick it there so that what we we don't always come back to FX uh, Dreamer. So that's uh, the first block uh, that you need to uh, to be aware of. We can just delete that the other one is actually closing most profitable trades it's run about a uh, same deal uh, what we're going to, uh, to do is to close the most profitable trade so what's going to happen is as this is going to be trading as this is going to be trading it's actually going to to look at the most profitable trade on those bucket of, in that bucket of trades and take that one out then from there it's again going to look for the most uh, profitable trade and what take that out uh, of the chart again look for another profitable most profitable trade and take that out, out of the chart and it goes and it goes and it goes uh, like that 
the measure mode uh, you can again set it in uh, pips uh, what would you say is the most profitable trade it needs to be more than it needs to be more than uh, say if it's more than 50 pips uh, it's definitely your most uh, profitable trade uh, by that time and we can actually uh, 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 tick this or if you say it doesn't matter it's just going to calculate uh, what it thinks is the most profitable trade and take uh, that off your chart when it compares with the rest of the, of the trades that you have or you can set it according to a monetary uh, value uh, but otherwise that's how this otherwise i showed we talked uh, uh, on the previous blog about filtering by age by type uh, symbol and uh, stuff like that so this is how you can close a bucket uh, of trades uh, using fx streamer when you are making your robot i hope this uh, gives you some insight into how you can actually do this uh, easily if you have any questions on uh, how to build your forex robots on fx streamer uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section below i'll try my best to answer your questions um if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing so that you do not miss future videos otherwise uh like the video um uh, if you're looking for forex robots indicators books to download there are actually links in the description box below uh visit those links and see if you cannot find what you're looking for everything that you download from there is for free we are big on free yeah everything that we do is for free uh, many people also ask me about the broker that I use. Their link is in the description box below. They happen to be one of the best brokers uh, for testing Forex robots because you can test your robots with just $5 in your account. Otherwise, guys, I see you in the next video.